Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we have an axle tube. This is a rear axle tube out of the 1970s Oshkosh uh, driver's side. And uh, uh, we're out here. We're going to start cleaning it up because we've got to separate the tube from this piece here. We're going to be replacing this tube. It is completely wasted out on this end here. Give you a close look at that. All right, here's a look down inside. You can see how bell mouth it is. The bearing let go and the axle was actually uh, rubbing on the inside of the tube and raised up some materials. And a little torch cut there so they get the axle out. Pretty chewy chewy. All right, the slots uh, will be cutting in the mill after we're completely done uh, doing the threading and turning and all that. That's for the keeper nut and lock the position of uh, the tension on your bearings. Now it's pretty rusty. We're going to give it a quick wire wheel. Now on the other side, uh, this slips inside the actual uh, tube and registers in towards the uh, uh, differential end. And this registers into the outside of the tube. Uh, these shoulders right here, uh, I believe when we press this out, they're what retain the tube from slipping out. These are remnants of where the backing plate used to have a backing plate. I got to grind those uh, rivets off. There's three, three of them left on there. All right, let's get the wire wheel. We'll get inside, get some measurements. All right, we're uh, in here with our little delta saw and we're cutting the uh, tube off because we know that this mushroomed area is not going to be able to press through this housing right here. Okay, yeah, we got this uh, hub from the uh, 1972 Oshkosh uh, is the year uh, of vehicle. And uh, we got the other side torched off so we could grab the flange. This is our uh, full-size forge off that mounts in this lathe. And that's how we got it set up. And right now we're boring out the inner part of the sleeve tube that we're going to be manufacturing. We want to save this part here and uh, we're, we're cutting that out and bare minimum until we can get relieve the pressure to get it out or have it just come out. All right, uh, we finally uh, got all the material poured out of this thing. Uh, it's like just paper thin right here and uh, got a nice shoulder down in there. We're going to pull it out of the lathe here and uh, put it over in the press and we're going to press the remnants of that sleeve out
them and uh, did pretty good on getting that out. Kind of looking at how they make this. You know, a little bit of a radius right there. Keep it from breaking. Pretty good on the <laughs> on the board job there. And that was the other end there. I wanted to kind of keep this shape right here, and we can gauge that. And uh, now we've got an axle tube to make and get mounted in this part right here. Give you a close up there of, of the bore. Still in nice shape. That was some press on there though. Okay, we're within a couple thousandths there. Alright, and our center is tight. And let's see how we're spinning here. Okay, you can see how this is hobbing. But the center's running true. And now I'm going to take a skim on the outside, just for a short distance here, so that I have an area when I'm going to endo this thing. But I'm going to skim an area here that's true running with my center. So that means the inside and outside are going to be running real close. And I'm going to endo this thing and dial the fresh turn surface here with the bell at the other end and do the same thing there. And then I'll turn it one more time and verify that. Uh, this is the closest way to get the inside and outside running concentric with each other before you start hogging some material off of here. skim there and now we're going to go ahead and flip this thing around and then we're going to put this in there we're going to indicate this surface that's running true with that center so that we know that when we put it over here the center on this end is going to be running true and then the new bore or this end bore will be on that center and we'll probably see the outside run out and you know we we didn't have nothing to go but the outside here so that's you know that's the steps you got to take
Okay, we're down to like four three hundred on this diameter here, which is about fifty thousandths over our finish for that little tiny lift that uh, secures it into the sleeve. assembly goes inside slightly we gotta make sure there's clearance on that and then we can go for the finishes and hopefully we can get this done and press back into the housing tomorrow